Hello everyone, we're going to be going over section 2-4, equations with variables on both sides, each side. Variable on each side means you want to get the variables onto one side. Here's a very quick and easy example. We have a 3x over here, we want to move it to the other side. You don't just move the 3, you move the whole thing. So it's 3x subtracted from 5x is 2x, and x equals 10. And you can check that as well. You plug it in here, you get 50. Plug it in here, you get 30. 20 plus 30 equals 50. You know it works. So variables on both sides. To so solve an equation with the same variable on each side, first use the addition or the subtraction property of equality to write an equivalent equation that has the variable on one side of the equation, then solve it. So let's go over it. So for this one, We're going to move the 3y to the other side. So when you move uh, the first, we move the 8 to the right by adding it. Then we move the 3y to the other side, getting 2y equals 20, y equals 10. Now we're going to try this one a little bit trickier. It moves on to the next level on this side. I wanted to show you, before we try it, we're not going to solve this one. We're going to actually, I'll cross it out. I don't want you to worry about that just yet. I want you to look. The question is whether the variable is solved on the left, which is on this side, or the right on this side. Does it change the answer? And I want to show you, this one becomes negative 20 over negative 2, which is 10. So if you notice, no matter if you solve for the variable on the left or variable on the right, you get the same answer. One other thing, this red line going down for the rest of your time in this class, I, I want you to always stay organized so I can talk to you about where you make mistakes. I like to be able to say, on the left side of the equation, on the third step down, you've made a mistake dividing. So stay organized so this line stays in the middle so there is an actual left and right side to each equation. Next, Here's some answers. This is the answer we just went over, which is 10. And then we had this one. This is our first example where we actually get a fraction answer. Number four, n equals 10. And number five, when you're moving the decimals, we actually get negative one. 